Hey everyone, today is Saturday, January 18, 2020. I am in Riverside, California. I'm at the uh, DeLorean Tech event going on here today. Uh, this is an event with, uh, looks like we have eight DeLoreans here uh, at this event. And uh, all of them are unique, all of them are different. I'm going to talk with each of the owners at some point and uh, get them to tell a little bit about their cars, what makes them unique, what makes them special, uh, what makes them unusual. And so um, I'm just doing a real quick walkthrough. And uh, we have mostly original cars here, but we also have two uh, time machines. The one on the left is a Back to the Future Part 1. One on the right is Back to Future Part 2. And uh, so there it is. Uh, more later. Hey, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Todd Bustino from DeLorean Tech. And we are over here at DeLorean Tech's Good Time Tech Day. And this is my uh, car in 16109, an 83 DeLorean. Uh, it's got almost 100,000 miles on it. So it's got a long history. I bought it from the, the first owner who bought it way back in 1984. Uh, a lady who owned it up until 2018. And it's primarily a show car. So she babied it. Uh, they lived out of um, Rancho Palos Verdes here in California. And it was uh, serviced by DeLorean One up in Chatsworth. What well, makes your uh, yeah? What makes your DeLorean unique or special? Okay, so I've done a, a lot of little uh, modifications, special <laughs> modifications myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the first one, wings aloft. So wings aloft with automatic <laughs> door opening, a remote door opening system. Okay. Um, just here's a little demonstration. I got the little key remote, and of course I got the Back to the Future uh, door opening sound effect. You know, I've got uh, a little uh, Back to the Future stuff in there like the flux capacitor right which is right there so it has the sound effects too. yeah so the, the flux capacitor is actually wired into the car's electrical system okay so it's not battery powered like it came right out of uh, so i bought it from dmc california i modified it so i could connect it to the 12 volt system on the car and it turns on automatically when i open up the doors or i could have it i have a three-way switch back here so i can turn it off or i can keep it running just Forever, if like I car shows, with it, yeah. Like if I want to, yeah, for car shows or whatever, or just driving around. Cool. Um, Do you see. drive this regularly or for shows specifically uh, or what? All the time. I okay. drive it a lot, very, very as much as I can. So I also have these uh, these custom seat belt shoulder pads that were made for the for the car. Um, those are leather, and they kind of try. I tried to match the car as much as I could. Oh, very so, nice. Um, those are unique. And then um, what else? You know, just a couple little improvements here, the DMZ, the stainless uh, shifter ball. I've got a Ready Player One coin slot on the, That's the, cool. on the center console oh, right okay. there. I also have a um, rear view uh, mirror dash cam backup camera system That's in there. cool. Yeah, so I just installed that uh, a couple weeks ago. It's really awesome. Let me show you where I put the rear view camera. So I installed it like right here. So it kind of ties oh, that's into, really nice yeah so that way that's a good install looks a little you know it doesn't look hidden, all not so crazy in face yeah very nice works really well um you know i got full leds all the way around um one little odd thing is i so i have the stainless steel letter logo type in here but i actually plastic dipped it so <laughs> just you know just something that uh you know something unique about the car so i've got a couple little engine modifications that i've done Oh wow! So I have uh, the Hervey uh, airbox. Airbox. Uh, it was custom tinted uh, by Chris mm -hmm. Miles, and he also added the DeLorean Go DMC stainless logo type there. Nice. Um, you know, I got the. Uh, uh, that's not a stainless bottle. I think it's actually aluminum. Aluminum. Think, yeah. There was an earlier uh, version of it that was done in aluminum, yeah. which actually makes sense because it's a similar metal. Uh, it's the same metal as the the pipes and the engine block, so you're not using. A dissimilar metal for cathodic corrosion or anything. Yeah, that's a good point. So, um, so I mean, I've, I've done a couple little things. You know, I've changed out the fuel lines, which is very important for safety. Look good. Um, and I'm just, you know, 
making sure. I actually did a lot of, I haven't done a lot of AC work on the car. I just changed out the uh, high pressure hose myself. That was a, a job, but I used the DeLorean Go two piece hose, which makes the job a lot easier. Normally what you have to do if you want to replace these hoses using the original factory ones, you actually have to separate the body from the frame. That's too. unpleasant. Yeah, very unpleasant. Not fun. This little wire right here. Yep. So I have the Dave McKean um, idle speed ECU. And one of the features of that is not only can you program it to set it to idle at whatever RPM you want, but you can also connect it to your air compressor. So when your air compressor for your AC turns on, you get an extra 100 RPMs of bump. Oh, it automatically bumps it. Automatically up. bumps it up. That's good. So that that's pretty cool. It's, it's just a re redo uh, of the uh, of the uh, ECU. Basically. Yeah, it's, a, it's basically a microprocessor controlled ECU. You have something that is rare on these cars. These foam pads, right here. Ah, yes. Those yes. are almost always gone and deteriorated, <laughs> not even existing anymore. <laughs> Rarely find those. Uh, in fact, I think I've seen him on, this is like the third or fourth car that I've ever seen him on. Okay. Yeah. So this was definitely... Yeah, uh, yeah, they kept, the original owners definitely kept it in really good shape uh, yeah. throughout the years. Um, I think they uh, were like major concours, like competitors and stuff. So right. they had, you know, an original car. I, I, I changed things out. I took <clears> out the... You know the stove pipe, the and heat the, stove, yeah. The, and then the I uh, added the uh, little air intake right here, the cold air intake. Right, right. You know that actually made a big deal. So inside here is a K and N air filter. Right. And that's a new offering. Now you can actually buy a K and N air, air filter. Before they uh, they had them for a while, then they stopped making them, and now now you get them. Yeah. Got to yeah. know which part number. That's good. And you have uh, footwell lighting. I can see you have the blue footwell lighting. All the LEDs are primarily from V LEDs. Um, I have uh, obviously the hoverboard. I also have an AGM battery. <laughs> if you're familiar with AGM, that's an AGM battery right there. Okay. So those are uh, the latest in battery technology, and it's better for the for the DeLorean because the battery is inside the cabin of the car. You don't want a lead acid battery inside the cabin of a vehicle. You'd rather have a sealed battery like that. Right. Um, let's see what else. Um, and just decked out the back with a license plate. Yeah, things. license plates. And, you know, the, oh, I just installed the DeLorean yeah. Goes uh, stainless steel door straps. Ooh, they're pretty. Yeah. Those, those are, are really pretty. pretty. pretty nice, yeah. Those are nice. It's, I've never seen those on a car before. I saw them on their website. But they look they good. They're really good, I think. But um, the, the, they function like this. The bill is a slow off at the top. Very slow opening, which, uh, yeah, it starts off. Pretty pretty normal speed, and it kind of slows down a little bit, so you don't like bang your. That's nice. It's not like a catapult, <laughs> like a catapult or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've seen some where they don't. Yeah. They get the car up off the ground almost. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've seen it where it pops and rocks the car sideways. So, um, the usual cluttery trunk, but I did have I do have a custom DMC. Uh, fire extinguisher uh, that I made myself. Oh, you made the yeah, uh, your yeah. a DMC fire extinguisher. That's cool. You just hit it with some paint and put a airbox sticker on it. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it. it looks a great look, and uh, that's really nice. I, I like my that. Vintage DeLorean Owners Association chair, director's chair right there. Yeah, that's cool. Around. Yeah, that's I think cool. They made it so it fits good. They chose that because it fits well inside the, the trunk. Well, right on, man. Yeah, this is great. Fantastic. Thank you for uh, sharing this with no me. No problem. Uh, any events coming up? Any special things coming up? Uh, well, today's the Tech Day, the Lauren Tech's Tech Day, and it was really successful. We had I think, eight or nine DeLoreans show up. Um, but uh, there's some more <laughs> events coming up. I think uh, in the summer we have Stainless Summer, which is uh, probably going to be in August. Okay. Um, Probably a couple other events coming up in the next few months. It seems like there's an event, an event every weekend. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Well, that's cool, man. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Yep. Take care. Yep. Tim Andrews. I've uh, had, had this car about a year and a half now. Um, I got it here in Southern California through uh, Beverly Hills Car Club, who sells a lot of DeLoreans. And uh, not all of them are great, but this one was in really good condition. So I got, I got lucky, I guess you could say, but I also spent hours going through it ahead of time. Um, to make sure. So this one spent its whole life in um, in Ohio before I got it. It uh, it came directly from Consolidated. It was one of the very last cars uh, that was sold because it wasn't actually registered for the first time until September of 1984. Oh. And
and uh, they, you know, they lived in Cincinnati. Um, it was bought, bought by a guy who ended up selling it to his son, who also loved it. But then his son uh, got a job in the Obama White House and had to leave suddenly, so he just left the car in Dad's garage for 15 years, and no one drove it. And uh, it only had 10,500 miles on it when I got it. So uh, it's it's in uh, good condition because it's been its whole life, like you know, pretty well taken care. in a garage in yeah. Ohio. Yeah, exactly. So uh, it didn't need much work other than the stuff that just kind of ages out, like um, you know, hoses and pumps and you know, rubber bits and that sort of thing. So um, all of those things uh, were were all replaced, and you know, parts that that are just better to be modernized on the DeLorean. That was all done. Um, I did do the suspension on it. Um, just because I thought that would be kind of a safety thing. So like iBox set up or? Yeah, yeah, DMC's iBox. Okay. And I uh, also replaced the, the headlights with uh, uh, a sealed uh, LED headlight. It gave me some good, good visibility at night, which is also important. So it's good. What makes your uh, car special? What you, what else is going well, I on? Do, I do drive it every day. And I don't know if that was my plan, but that's what ended up happening. I had two cars and after I didn't drive the other one for a year, I sold it. So <laughs> this is your daily driver. This is it. And, uh, you know, it's, we're, we're doing great so far. I, I live about 20 miles from work and, you know, it just has no problem getting me yeah, back and forth. Sure. That's good. Um, what custom stuff have you done inside? Uh, gosh, I don't, I don't really know much, much of anything other than replacing the, uh, <laughs> the shift knob, the shift knob, but it's got the, it's got the original radio and needs a little it, it works the speakers need help but, but the radio works that's good uh, and uh, the seats are are still original and in great shape that's something i was really pleased about that's nice it is good now uh in, you haven't checked, done anything with the engine it's all original um no it's all it's all stock except for parts that have been uh you know just replaced like the alternator's a 140 amp alternator that's nice one. the uh you know the expansion bottle's been replaced and Little little things. Little things there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Power the yeah. somehow with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, sure. Appreciate it. So I'm Dustin Houston Hennick, owner of Van 1335. I've been an owner since December of 2018. This car is unique in the sense that it's an early build. We have the darker gunmetal wheels, gas flap hood, the uh, Incorporated into the windshield. I was looking heavily for about three years for certain ticker boxes. I wanted a gas flap, I wanted the darker wheels. This matched everything I was looking for. I got it from a consignment place outside of Illinois, a little town called Allsip. Had it shipped to Palm Springs where I live. It's been great. Daily driver, not too heavy problems. I mean, Nothing that's left me stranded, just minor things. Right, right. Nothing, nothing uh, wrong with it. No. Uh, tell me what uh, modifications you've done to it so far. I can show you. Cosmetically, the car looks as you see it. Interior is in really good condition. It's all original. Back here, we've done Toby's automatic bleeder system. New silicone hoses, pulled air intake. We've got this custom throttle cover. Stainless it looks like a uh, cruise control too. Yep. This is so. This is one of the rare DeLoreans I've seen that actually has cruise control. Yeah. Vacuum assist cruise control. It's nice. I'll show you where the controls are. Sure. What would normally be the ashtray. Cruise control. Controls. I've seen guys that have them on the dash. Wow. It's embedded in the ashtray yeah. location. That's so cool. It just looks flush and is almost as as if it came with the car. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Well, Dustin, thank you so much. Appreciate it. No problem. And you're a Palm Springs owner. How many How many in Palm Springs? Just me. Just you. You're the one. <laughs> so when people say we saw a DeLorean, was that you? Well, obviously it was it, you. It's you. All right, on. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Introduce yourself. My name is Alan Daniels. This is my son, David. Okay. Hi, I'm David Daniels. I gave the car to him last year. I bought the car new in December of 1981. Um, so been on 4544. 4544. Yeah, so October 81 build. And why'd you buy the car? Uh, it was unique and different at the time. There was like five of them in the town. We're originally from Bakersfield, California. Okay. And I got it in Bakersfield. 
and um, I've had it ever since. I've used it for a daily commuter of occasionally. I had it let it sit for 10 years before I gave it to him. Um, I moved to Southern California. I had it kept in the garage. Let's see. Um, I have a low number on the Dor Loring Owners Association. I was number 33 mm -hmm. and honored for that. I think there's only a few members earlier than that. Yeah, they're even still around at this point. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then uh, when I got it running again, we took it to DeLorean, in Cal DeLorean Motor Company in California in Huntington Beach uh, in 2018 uh, over the summer. And they had it for probably two to three months, just went over everything in it, uh, replaced the brakes, every rubber hose on it because they were all shot. Um, you know, did some work on the engine to get it running again, cleaned up the fuel tank. Um, just cosmetic upgrades and then slowly as you know I get it, save up enough money I'm just working on things here and there uh, today I was replacing uh, refitting door seals redoing some of the weather stripping and stuff so. right it's quite a, a, a little bit of a wrestling match yeah yeah big time it took a couple hours and you're sitting there beating on it with a mallet and pushing and pushing and pushing yeah right right it's uh yeah it's it's been an interesting labor of love and i mean you know the angle drive broke what two three times on this car right yes. yeah so it's it says it's got fifty thousand miles on it but it's probably closer to 95 a hundred thousand something no idea. like that yeah we, we, <laughs> we really don't know and it and it doesn't matter it doesn't you know? matter it, yeah. And so you grew up with this car yeah. as just a, a thing that was there. Right, yeah. The car is older than I am. I was born in 85 and the car's from 81. So I don't know what it's like not to have a DeLorean. You know, yeah. I, I, it, it's a weird thing. And there's a few of us around like that. So, yeah. yeah um, so, you know, it's just it's just kind of a weird thing, I guess. And there's, you know, kind of a second, third generation of owners that are kind of coming into owning cars now so it's kind of an interesting thing to meet other people that have grown up like this i met another owner in san diego whose father had the car from very very early on in the 80s and we were swapping stories about how you would like you know sit up in the back up here on the on the deck shelf right yeah. um and you know fitting like two or three of us in the passenger seat and stuff like that which is super illegal and people wouldn't do it at all now but you know back in the old days you know that was kind of so you're you're, do. you're you're one of the few remaining delorean babies yeah for sure yeah exactly <laughs> there's actually pictures of me in the car um you know in the in the driver's seat holding the steering wheel and i'm probably like what one or two yeah, something, something like that, that you know yeah. so yeah i was very very young at that point you know so it's been cool you know it's it's an interesting thing and it's one of those things that like you know a lot of people are into it because of the movies and stuff i'm just into it because it's a delorean it's a delorean you know that's cool that's yeah. cool so it's a, the, we already can tell the future of this car so it's just it's staying yeah. in the family yeah for sure and and, and with anybody i think i think that's kind of the the way as long as they can keep it going for sure i i think that's excellent excellent yeah. agreed and uh you know i i think that's just an excellent story it really is thanks yeah. thank you so much yeah you're welcome anytime Good. Hi. Uh, you all might know, know me already by now. My name is Lenny Hocktile. I live in California, Menifee, California. And right over here is my DeLorean time machine from the movie Back to the Future Part 1 replica. Uh, it was made by Bruce Kuhlman in Florida. Uh, I had him commission it. I wanted a Part 1 car, and this is exactly when I got a Part 1 car with the lightning bolt, the lightning rod on there. That was my favorite of it all. Uh, I belong to many different clubs. I originally had Southern California DeLorean Car Club. I was a little bit involved with the uh, uh, the uh, uh, HO, uh, uh, the, which uh, was at the, uh, the DOA. Yeah, DOA, DOA, DeLorean Owners Association, and uh, Ron Ferguson and me, and uh, done that for many, many years ago and like that. I also belong to a bigger club called Star Cars, and that's movie cars, where we have the Batmobile, Herbie the Love Bug, Knight Rider. Those are my big things. My friend Martin right here is a good friend of mine. He's got a part two car, and uh, we've been hanging around for a very long time. Uh, today happens to be Tech Week, and so both Martin and I had our doors put in, uh, which is the passenger door. Mine, I never used, never worked, so I thought yeah, I'd the up upgrade. Window it. motor? Window motor. Yeah, yeah. And Martin, we did the same thing, so we did that all today. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, tell me, where did this car start its life? Oh, okay. I bought this just outside of Chicago. Uh, I was, I'm now the third owner, so the second owner had it for 10 years and didn't drive it. Uh, just yeah, yeah. thought he, would, he was a mechanic. He thought he would fix the car, and he never got around to it. He passed away, and then his wife saw some documentation about it and said, where is the car? She, he never told his wife. He, so, never, he never told her never told his that wife. he had a DeLorean. Yeah, he kept it at a shop somewhere. 
So it was in perfect condition, and I bought it off of them. And I knew that it wasn't running, and I knew I had to put more money into it. Perfect time to finally get into a time machine. That's good. Well, thank you so much. And what events do you have coming up that you'll be uh, having your car on display? Uh, well, I'll, I'll be in Santa Monica at the end of uh, January right now doing an event down there. February, I got a few lined up. And throughout the year, I haven't planned everything, but usually I do parades, for instance. Uh, I think the uh, Irish parade, the St. Patrick's Day parade's coming up, Fourth of July parade. And then the biggest one, which I just finished, was in December, of the Hollywood Christmas Parade. Oh, well, that's cool. Thank you so much. Okay, well, thank you. Hi, my name is Martin, uh, here in Riverside with the Orange County Glorian Club. Uh, it's my turn to host uh, Tech Day. So my car is the, um, it's VIN 3005. Uh, it's an early build, uh, as you can tell by the gas lap. Um, it was a DeLorean time machine that uh, was created by a prop builder, but I kind of disassembled the car and redid it and, Pretty much screen accurate. Those back of the future guys get a little weird sometimes. <laughs> but it has a flux capacitor, and the irony here is we've got two time machines today. We have Lenny's here and mine. His is a part one. Mine's a part two. And um, I use it primarily for fun, and we do a lot of charity events with it. Um, I've since got it back. I've done some stuff with the DeLorean Club, which is really fun. They're a really fun bunch of people. Um, we're here today putting my window motor in, which has been broken since day one. But uh, it's finally getting done. Good old Chris over here handling it, handling the job because my hands are just probably too big to do it. So. But uh, other than that, uh, everyone's helping each other out, which is really cool. You don't see that in a lot of car clubs. Um, You've been in a lot of different car clubs. What's the atmosphere of the DeLorean uh, community versus other communities that you've been in, whatever community you've um, been? Other communities, I, I've been in the... I have a Porsche 911, and I've been in the Porsche Club of America years, years back. And they were kind of, I don't know, maybe maybe just sno a little snooty, you know. And uh, but the DeLorean people, they're a different group, you know. Yeah, we all have our things we like, things we don't. And some people don't like the fact that it's a time machine because you, you know you ruined a perfectly good car. I didn't do it; it was already that way. But we all, it's kind of like a family. We all help each other out, and um, it's been a good group of people, both on uh, social media. And even when you're out and about, I mean, you never see two DeLoreans pass each other. And if you do, they probably know each other, which is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this, you got this car. It was already turned into a, a movie prop. Uh, and what was it, where was its life before it became that? The car belonged to a gentleman in Camarillo that had a couple of them. And the car had about 20,000 miles on it. Uh, it only has 30 now. And uh, he was going to have two time machines built, and I really don't know what happened. They were converting this one, and something happened, and this particular car ended up in my world. Um, and I traded an early, uh, early '80s uh, Lamborghini for it. It was back in '08 when the you know, everything was going crazy, and the car it was just kind of more of a headache. And this car is a lot, this car is a lot more fun. Yeah, more fun than Lamborghini. Yeah. And yeah, and yours. What, what year was your Lamborghini? It was uh, 1989 Adversario yeah, Countach. So, so this was uh, it was eight years newer and less fun. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, and, and, and it's a car that's. I'll tell you what. If you think DeLoreans are finicky, if you leave an Italian, we called her the Italian princess. If you leave her unattended, she'll break on you just sitting in the garage. <laughs> That's really bad. Thank you so much for telling the story. And uh, uh, you got events coming up that you'll be taking your car to. Um, there's a couple of oh wait, there's a couple of things uh, going on. Uh, I can't talk about, but okay. it involves uh, Back to the Future because the movie's coming out in 4K. So look for that. Um, there's a, it's the 35th anniversary of all the movies, uh, so it'll be really interesting. I have one more signature, Michael J. Fox, so hopefully this year it'll happen. And make the signature collection complete. Yes. Right on. Thank you. Take care. All right. Thank you.